A lot of people have a home inspection done when they're buying a house in Maryland. And one of the most frequently asked questions is, what sort of things do home inspectors look for? Well, stay tuned because we're gonna go inside and take a peek at a real home inspection. Hi, I'm Melissa Spittle, local Carroll County real estate agent, and I'm here today with Mark Springer of Springer Home Services to talk about home inspections. So what's covered in a home inspection? In Maryland, if you're a home inspector doing inspections, you have to be licensed. But what Maryland doesn't do, they don't require how things get inspected or included with an inspection. It's pretty much almost everything that has to do with the home itself. So your roof, the exterior, your windows, your doors, your electrical system, the plumbing system, uh, all your heating, your uh, AC, uh, and the interior of the home. But when it comes to looking for an inspector, there's a couple key things that I think are good to look for. One is how do they inspect the house? Do they do anything over and beyond what the state of Maryland requires? So they require a representative number of items to be checked. So they don't have to check every single item. But that's one thing you want to ask them. Like, do you do a representative number or do you check everything? Do you check every outlet? Do you check every window? Um, how do you inspect the roof? Some inspectors inspect it from the ground. Some inspectors use binoculars. Some walk the roof. Some use a drone. So there's a bunch of different ways to inspect it. And then what other items do those inspectors include with the inspection? Do they do thermal imaging? Do they have a maintenance program for you to, uh, to, you, to use for your house? One thing that's good to ask a home inspector when you're going to book your inspection, if you're calling around with different companies, is to see how they inspect the attic. Uh, so in the state of Maryland, you're not required to walk the attic as a home inspector. All you gotta do is, if you can, look up into what they call a scuttle hole uh, and then look around the attic. But if your inspector can get up into the, into the attic and walk around, they're gonna see a lot more than if they're just in one spot. One big area is to look at the bottom of the roof sheathing. Um, that's gonna give you a good idea is uh, to, one, if the roof's been replaced. Uh, two, it's gonna give you a good idea if there's any water staining. If the roof hasn't been replaced and there's water staining, that kind of lets you know as a potential buyer that the roof probably is, has an active leak. If it looks like it's been replaced recently and there's water staining, that's something that could be uh, something that happened in the past, uh, but it's still good to document that. Let's say that you go to sell the house in five years. If you have that documented from when you did your inspection, you can always say, oh no, that was there. And it's always kind of good to get those, uh, get to get those pictures. Finding out if your inspector is going to walk the attic for you is a big, a big question to have. It can have a lot of hidden flaws. Let's go downstairs so you can check out the plumbing. One of the big things that I look for when I come into a basement, the main water shut off out to the house. So the way that this house is set up, this is your first line of defense. Uh, against water intrusion. So if you have, like you're going on vacation or you're working on any kind of like remodeling a bathroom, I always suggest turning off your water supply to the house. That way, let's say you're on vacation for seven days, you have a leak at day two, you're not gonna know till you come home. Uh, so it's really good to turn this off when it comes to going on vacation or working on the home. Uh, again, this is your main water shut off valve for the entire house. I'm going through and I'm checking all the baseboards. This house is on a oil uh, boiler. So the way that works, you have water that goes over top of a boiler uh, downstairs. Because I'm using thermal imaging to check the baseboard. And this, uh, this really kind of helps with showing what kind of heat this is going to put off. It's kind of tough to know without a tool like this as to how well the boilers are working. Uh, you can always put your hand up to it to feel it, but I find this to be a lot more accurate. You can see if there's like any spots where you've got possibly a issue where there's a blockage in the pipe. This is kind of what I'm looking at right here. And we can go downstairs and I'll show you what the boiler looks like too. Okay. So down here, this is the boiler. This is like the heart of the heating system uh, for this house. You have a oil line that comes in. Um, so this right here, this is your oil supply and it runs all the way over to an oil tank uh, for, your fuel, for the fuel system. And then this right here is a burner. Um, so this is what heats the hot water that goes through the house. And these right here, these pipes, are what hot water goes through. And then there's a pump there to circulate it, so it circulates throughout the entire house. And this kind of gives you a good idea as to how hot these get. Um, so down here at the plate, you can see it's 356 degrees. This is showing 
where all your hot water is going through the house. So it's kind of nice to be able to visually see how warm these pipes get. And everything's looking pretty good so far. When you have a home inspection done in Maryland, here are four more things you want to make sure get checked. The appliances, because you want to make sure they work and function properly. If they work during the home inspection, then the homeowner is obligated to make sure they still work when you buy the house and move in. The second thing you want to make sure your home inspector checks is each and every outlet not only in the house, but on the outside too, to verify that they do indeed work. If the house has a chimney, make sure your home inspector also does a visual inspection of the chimney. You wanna make sure they check for cracks, check the crown, and check to make sure there's a cap on it to keep out birds and other debris that can get into a chimney and cause a chimney fire. If the house is located in one of those areas in Maryland where there's known to be elevated levels of radon, because let's face it, there are pockets of radon throughout Maryland, you want to make sure the home inspector leaves radon monitoring equipment in the house to check the levels of radon to make sure it's safe. If you have any home inspection questions or would like to schedule a home inspection, give Mark Springer a call. He'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you're thinking about buying or selling a house in Maryland, I'm your gal.